Good morning. I'm Rahel Solomon with your morning digital news brief for Wednesday, November 28th. Residents packed inside a West Philadelphia church demanding action and answers after Sunday's triple shooting. Two teenagers were rushed to the hospital after a gunman chased and shot them. An eight year old was shot in the face while sitting inside of his home. State Representative Joanna McClinton organized last night's meeting. Philadelphia police also handed out flyers with information and how to call in tips anonymously. Former Pennsylvania Attorney General Kathleen Kane has until tomorrow to report to jail and begin serving her sentence for perjury. That is the order from a judge who revoked Kane's bail and ordered her to start serving her 10 to 20 month sentence. On Monday, the state Supreme Court chose not to hear, hear her appeal. Kane will serve her sentence at the Montgomery County Correctional Facility. And a new mural will grace Philly streets next summer. Artist David Gwynn is creating it on space along the 6th Street underpass at Vine Street. Gwynn says the curves of the highway inspired his design. Okay, now let's head over to Katie and get a check on the forecast. And we are looking ahead to a very chilly day with the wind chill picking up for our area. Wind chill advisory has been posted, and that'll go until 4 o'clock for a good chunk of the area. The only part that uh, is not in that advisory is the Poconos. So you've got a widespread issue here. And with the wind, wind speeds that we're talking about, it's enough to send your trash can flying, certainly enough to even bring down a couple of uh, weaker tree limbs or even power lines. So this afternoon is where it's at its worst. Gust peak as high as 45 miles per hour inland, maybe as high as 50 at the coast and then that does begin to ease up later on tonight and heading into Thursday but you're still dealing with a wind chill that is certainly noticeable with those gusts as high as even 25 miles per hour through the day tomorrow. Now heading forward at least things do start to moderate the weekend it brings about some very positive change on the thermometer. The problem is it comes at a price. We do have a new storm system moving in that'll bring in some showers as early as second half of Friday and while the weekend's not a washout either day could feature a little bit of rain. Rahel? And remember, you can always get Katie's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the Morning Digital Brief. I'm Rahel Solomon. Good morning.